This is BCR. Yes, this is BCR. This is Black Culture Radio. Yes, so I have in the house now, like I said before, up and come a hungry young man from East London, man like Jay Blaze. What's up, man? Come on, my guy. I'm here, man. I'm here. Southeast though, southeast. Oh, southeast. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I thought it was southeast, east, but okay. yeah, cool. Nice to clear yeah. that up, man. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, first things first, man. How you living? You staying busy or you just chilling at the minute? Uh, a bit of both, you know. A bit of both, to be honest. Like, you know, life is busy. Get me. Like, yeah. Every day, you're going shopping, you got to just all pay your bills and all that. So yeah, yeah, it's busy, but I'm chilling at the same time, trying to. Work this music. Yeah, we're all doing the same thing, man. You know what I mean? I got full time yeah. job as well. I wish I could do this for a living, but not yet. You know what I mean? So yeah, I know how you're feeling, man. Yeah. I know how you're feeling. Literally. So let's Literally, get into the yeah. so let's get into the music side of things, man. When did you when did you first start like writing your own kind of stuff? Cool. So secondary school times, I say about year nine when I picked my GCSEs. Obviously, I picked music, yeah. so I got access to like the music rooms with the uh, pianos and whatnot so me and a couple of my secondary school friends we used to like do rap battles and just cussing each other's hairlines cussing each other's football teams whatever we could get in it just cussing each other about rapping someone's playing the piano someone's two people are cussing each other whatever then man will just jump in like it was like that right. and then i realized that i don't know i just started writing from there like that was the first thing that where i thought okay cool I'm putting words together in a like poetic way. Let me explore it, kind of thing. Yeah. And then from there, I just started writing. I remember showing my first like written bars to some guys in my science class. Obviously, I should have been listening, but I wasn't. And um, <laughs> yeah, they were telling me it's good, didn't it? <laughs> they were telling me it's good. So I was like, ah, right, cool. Let me just keep writing, see what I can do. And then here we are. Like, there's there's songs in the notepad. I just need to get them out and get them booming in. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that's cool, man. So that's so that's when you knew, yeah. like, this is what I want to do for a living, kind of thing, yeah. No, to be honest, that's just that's just how I got into it. But okay. like, when I knew, I say, I don't even know. I feel like it was a gradual thing. Like, I kind of eased into it. I didn't when I was writing those lyrics. I wasn't thinking about being a musician. I was just writing it for fun and expression. But after a while. The more, the better I got at it. Um, I started like I remember a milestone for me was like posting my first freestyle on Insta. No one knew I rapped. I'm just a guy on like just everyone people know. You just see me rapping and they're like, "Raw, like you're hard." I didn't know you rapped, like kind of thing. And then from there, obviously, I'm posting more freestyles on my social media and whatnot, just out there, just trying to see what people think of it. And people started saying, "You know, you're cold and that." And just the vision grew over time for me. It wasn't a thing where I just knew. Me. All right, cool. So, um, yeah. All right, then. So, um, is this a is this a direction you thought you'd go in? I mean, is there anything else that you know? What I mean, is there anything else in the entertainment sphere or anything else that you you know? What I mean, that you got like a big interest in? Uh, acting. I, I do enjoy acting. The art of acting. Um, I also picked drama school, so I picked two creative subjects. Mm. Like, um, so yeah, acting. I've never really delved into it too much, but I really do want to. Um, yeah. Also, yeah, my mum and my stepdad, they've, they've told me get into acting. Like, they've, they've pushed it as well. So when the time comes, I know that's something I would want to do as well, to be honest. All right, cool. So what about the um, yeah. what about the writing side? You think, you know, you, maybe in the future you'd be able to write something for other people to act or write something for yourself to act, that kind of thing? What is in in terms of scripts? Yeah, yeah. In terms of drama. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not sure, you know. I've never thought about the writing aspect of it, more the performing aspect of it. Mm. But yeah, I do think I do think I could work something like that. I think all creativity just it comes in one in it. If you if you know you're a creative person, you can explore something. If you work at it, you get better at it over time. Yeah. So I don't know, the more I get into acting I might see that side, but I haven't really explored Okay, that, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah, let's get back onto the, the subject of music. I'm veering off a little bit here. So um mm-hmm. what um what are you trying to get across? Who who are you aiming for? Um, 
you know, like firstly, I mean, obviously, you know, when, when we make music, we want everyone to yeah. love it. But who, who are you aiming yeah, for yeah. specifically and what are you trying to tell them? Mainly just the young black youths in the ends who, I don't know, like, just, they're like me or maybe not like me, but they grew up in the same environment as me where kind of closed in. You don't feel like there's more out there in the world for you. Like, people put you down because of certain things, like your race or how you act, but that doesn't define you. You can do what you want in the world. Like, that's what I try to portray in my music. I always talk about, like, what what's around me because obviously I grew up in Peckham a lot of crime violence gangs whatever and you can like it's hard growing up in them areas where if you if you don't have a direction from early you can easily get caught in something like that so for me I've seen all of that stuff but it's something I turned to turn my head away from and I kind of put in my music that you can you can rap drill you can rap this you can rap that you don't have to be a bad man like you can just be good with a pen like that's what I always try to say in yeah. my music and hopefully inspire people to take that same direction. Yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying, man. This is this is what I'm trying to show people as well because obviously yeah. obviously there is, yeah. you know, a problem in them inner cities and there's a lack of aspiration Touching. because they they think that that's their entire world, you know what I mean? But I'm trying to show people that that's a small percentage and the majority of people yeah. are just trying to live their life and do the best for themselves and for their families you know what I mean so it's good that yeah. this is what I'm trying to sh- like I'm trying to show that the black youth the majority of them just want to live peacefully you know what I mean and even the ones that are out yeah. there doing a couple things the majority of them would like to live peacefully but they don't feel like they can you know what I mean so no one wants to no one wants to experience like from, like there's people like people like to uh, villainize gang members yeah and obviously there's a side to it where you have to villainize their actions, but at the same time, no one wants to go out paranoid that they're gonna die, so they have to carry the shank. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get you. They, it's not. It's not like guys go out thinking, yeah, like that happens over time. Five, six years into that kind of living like that, paranoia, all these things that come into it, it's gonna get to a point where they're attacking, and not defending. Like, and that's that's how it goes. But it's so normalized that people are just getting dragged into it. It's like people you wouldn't even think would do that kind of thing or just jumping on the gang life. I've seen it, like, it's mad. It's mad. Yeah. All right, man. Now, I get you. I totally get you, man. I, to- I mean, I'm, I'm the generation before you. I'm sure I'm, I might even be older than your stepdad. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, but you know what I mean? The, the situation hasn't changed that much. You know what I mean? Like everything you're saying yeah. is the same. It was the same as when it was when I was your age. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, what yeah, you're it's saying is, is, yeah, it's still relevant. But what I love yeah. about the youth now is that they're a lot more entrepreneurial. Do you know what I mean? A, a, a lot of youth yeah. like you, like the, the, the younger ones in my family now, they go in their own direction. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not just like getting a job and working. Do you know what I mean? Like they're trying to, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? They're trying to explore their own entrepreneurial avenues. I yeah. love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Anyway, it's let's good, get onto the, good, yeah. let's get onto your tune that we're going to play. Boris, how did you yeah, come up yeah. with the concept for this tune? It was, it was actually really random. Like, um, how did I, it's like, I just had the rhyme scheme in my head of, I listened to a beat. I found a beat. I said, I want to write something to it because it's cold. Then, I just had the, I'm listening to the beat and I kind of use these phonetic ways of like getting my flow in it. So I'm hearing, eh, eh, audio, eh, 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 audio. and I'm thinking, okay, cool, rhyme scheme, Oris or something like Wallace, Gromit. So for the whole the hook and the first verse, that was the rhyme scheme. And obviously Boris is a word that I thought first in it because it was current. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to put a little Boris theme to this to this tune and just get at him, like literally. <laughs> Because every like a lot of people hold that frustration towards them, and it's like no like people speak on it, but no one's speaking on it. Like yeah, so people need to speak on it. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's that was me speaking on it in my own way. Really. Man's trying to lock down the game like <laughs> Boris. I get you, man. I get you. All right yeah, then. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play it now, and then we'll talk a little bit afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So just oh. just hang on the line, okay? Yeah. So like I said, yeah. talking to the man Jay Blaze. This is his song. Come on. It's called Boris. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson facing huge political pressure. Let's admit that he was at a party in the garden of Downing yeah. Street, gathering at least during the first lockdown in May 2020, uh, but he claimed it was a work event. Pe- 
thing ain't polished uh, Let's just be honest, damn wavy, no need to be modest no A man lit up the trees, that's chronic Now man lit up the scene like forest Chasing the queen and making it legal Seems like P to a M like Boris P to a M like Boris uh, His pen game polished uh, Let's just be honest, damn wavy, no need to be modest no A man lit up the trees, that's chronic Now man lit up the scene like forest Chasing the queen and making it legal Seems like P to a M like Boris P to a M like Boris Man's been doing this shit since college no. Been killing them beats, they feeling this heat now, let's be honest I don't trust when a man met promise, calm man talk but don't do no action Man cap for the snap, they're actors, when it's on cops man dash like fractions But man's chasing the coins like Sonic, shit them fuck man, a man met Mario Shoot my shot like a true sick carry oh man don't miss from the spot like Baggio Flow out of this world like Rocket, out of this world like Comics If man rock with a snake like Onyx, man get touched with a pen like Comics Comics touch with a pen like, calling in a clip man sick like Vomit Sip on my drink that's tonic, burn these pricks like I lit one floor Posted up with my dog like Wallace uh, Mess with me, they get me in grommet And trust me, bro, he's on it Promise, trust you can get abolished please, Trust you can get demolished please, Hit pen game polished uh, Let's just be honest, damn wavy, no need to be modest no A man lit up the trees, that's chronic Now man lit up the scene like forest Chasing the queen and making it legal Seems that P to a M like Boris Johnson. P to a M like Boris Johnson. Hit pen game polished uh, Let's just be honest, damn wavy, no need to be modest no A man lit up the trees, that's chronic Now man lit up the scene like Boris Chasing the queen and making it legal Seems that P to a M like Boris Johnson. P to a M like Boris Johnson. P to a M, I'm P with a pen Tell a man don't try me Got heat in my wave, no wily to Fiery, so they call me Blaze. Also, cause I smoke my haze, then get scribey, man. I load that gauge. No corn in the skin, just pages. Don't mind me, let me post this up. I'm told, man, that I'm loading up. The flow's a mad one, so hold this, cuz I don't do gang stuff, but pose get bust. I'm off the whack on my pose, my pen. Told, bro, Biggie, hold this gang. It's not a handgun, man, still get quaint. Make sure that you hit man's face, don't miss the target, man. I'm in my zone. PS, I'm the best, like preacher. I'll teach you how to keep that faith. Make sure that you dodge that drama, good karma, and the key is praise. Get faith in God. I'm my art now, man's on top of my game uh, You know the pen game polish, but sorry lad, I I gotta say fuck Boris ACD, he mixed this one Mr Speaker, in the last few minutes A photo has emerged of the Prime Minister in Downing Street On the 15th of December 2020 Surrounded by alcohol, food and people wearing tinsel It looks a lot like one of the Christmas parties he told us Never had a hijab or a burqa Does that mean that it is open season for all right honourable members? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Blaze there with Boris. Still got man on the line. Yeah, yeah, I like that man. <laughs> How you know about Badgio Boris anyway? Johnson. <laughs> You're too young to know about Badgio. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like no, it. I, I like know it. about Badgio. I know, I know my football, man. I know my football. Oh, uh, yeah, something you, another thing you're interested in, yeah. Yeah, man, another thing, yeah, literally. All right, man. No, that's cool. That's cool. I like that a lot, man. I like that a lot. No, so, no, no. so where can people where can people find you? Where can people follow you? Give me your socials and things like that, man. Uh, J to the B L A V E, but that's J A Y to T O V T H E B L A V E, literally. Okay. Um, that's TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snap, literally. Yeah, that's the at on all socials. Yeah, so everyone write that down. Go check him out, man. Hear more of that because I like that tune a lot. I really do. I'm not just saying that to gas you up. <laughs> I like that tune. <laughs> right. Thank you okay. so much. All right. So um, when I got when I got sent your details, um, they said a few of the artists that you that you're into. Just just um, just tell the people a few of the artists that you like to listen to. Yeah, in the UK, it's mainly the OGs, Chip, Skeppy. Skepta, Gets, um, Wretch, all of them guys are low-key, I really like low-key, mm. um, Akala, all of them guys, and then there's a couple of the new school guys, obviously Dave, Cold, Heady One, um, yeah, there's two, there's a lot to name, Stormzy, yeah, 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 I rate, yeah. I rate what they're doing and that, I rate the vibe they're giving out. Yeah, man, just more of that, isn't it? Okay. I'm trying to be up there as well. So if you had to, if you had to pick one, who would it be? Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, yeah. It's chip still. It's chip. Put chip. you on the spot there. <laughs> Has to be chip. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, um, you sent me a tune. I asked you for a tune to request. Um, yeah. You sent me the tune, so I'll make sure that I had it. So, what I, I want you oh, to introduce. So, we'll say our goodbyes now, yeah? It's, it's been good talking to you, man. Yeah, it really has God. been good. Why don't, why don't yeah, you introduce the tune? Up, why don't you introduce the tune that you asked me for? Uh, cool. So, the tune's by Dave, and it's called Panic Attack. So, yeah. Yeah, all right, bro. Big good talking everyone. to you, man. Big up my mum. Yeah. yeah, man. Oh, go on, nah. carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah, big up your mum. Who else? Yeah, nah. big up my mum, big up my stepdad for obviously linking me with you. Thank yeah. you for having me on. Thank all my family for supporting the team. My girl, my bro, Kai, Terrell, all the man the minute. Like, yeah, literally, you're tuned in. Love. All right, man. It's been an absolute pre- pleasure, bro. Oh, my gosh. All right, man. Thank you. Pleasure to you, man. Bye. Thanks. Yes. So, man, like Jay Blaze there. Yeah, young you, just like I said before, man, like people have a an image of black youth today, boys and girls, do you know what I mean? And you know what I mean? Some of it's true, a little bit of it's true, but for the most part, for the most part, the youths them, I mean, I've always said the youths nowadays are smarter than we were, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it's good to know that they're, they're doing good things, man, they're doing good things. But like he said, the song that he requested... Panic Attack by Dave. Let's get it going. One, six, 